Hi guys, welcome to the next video of the Struts2 tutorial series. In the last video, we started looking into the Struts2 configuration elements and we talked about the package and action elements. In this video, we will talk about the result and the interceptor tags. The result element is a sub element of the action tag and tells the controller where you want the action to forward to or which view to render. Now its name corresponds to the return value of an action method. This one. So an action method can return different values in different situations like success for successful execution of the action method or error for some error scenarios. In that case we must have two result elements inside that action element. Here we should have two result elements, one for success and one for error. One more thing about the result tag is if you omit the name attribute here, then the success is taken by default. So this is equivalent to, to this. In some places you might just see a result element without any name that corresponds to a result element with the name success. Okay. Now result element has one more attribute called as type and this is used to specify what type of result we want to execute. Now depending on the view technology we are trying to use we need to specify their appropriate result type that can actually take care of executing that view mentioned in the result element. Now like for JSP we need to specify type as dispatcher. And this type actually takes care of, of rendering this JSP or executing this JSP. But by default the type is dispatcher so for JSP we need not specify any type. But for other view technologies like velocity or free marker we need to specify their result type specifically here in the type attribute. Now the next important element is the global results tag which comes under the package element. Now in global results element can contain many result element with the name and its value. So these results present in the global results element they become part of all the actions declared in the package tag. So any action inside the package tag can refer to those results present in the global results. Now generally when the controller is not able to find a matching result inside the action tag for a method for a value which was returned from our action method then it then it tries to search that result in the global results tag also and if it doesn't find that result here then it throws an exception. Now we generally we would like to put something in the global results if we want it to be common for all the actions like if you want to set up a common error page for all the actions of the package in that case we can declare global results like this so here we can give a name as error let's give it an error page so it's going to throw an error like some system error has occurred please try again let's go back to our stress.xml file and from our hello world action instead of returning success let's try to return an error ok now let's try to run it on the server
let's try to hit our hello world action Okay, so we got the error page returned from the global results element when we try to return an error from our action method. Okay, now let's check the interceptor related tags. We can see their usage in the stats default XML file, which is there in the stats2 core here. There are five interceptor related tags interceptors, interceptor, an interceptor stack, interceptor ref, and default interceptor ref. So we can define ind interceptor inside this interceptor stack, and interceptor tag can have a name and its class and interceptor ref is used to refer to the interceptor which we defined here if you want to use that interceptor we have to use it using interceptor ref and we can stack so many interceptors together using the interceptor stack and then we can use this stack using interceptor ref again okay let's uh, Let's try to use these. Suppose we want to use these two interceptors for our action element. Let's try to use this. On the interceptor stack, we can have individual interceptor. Okay, we already copied it. Let's paste it here. Okay, now we can use these interceptors in our action element using the interceptor ref tag. We can just give the names of the interceptor here. Okay, so now what we're trying to do here for this action element, we want these two interceptors to run before and after the action method is completed. Okay, now now one thing to note here is that the order of the interceptor ref element is important because it determines the order of invocation of the interceptors for that action. Now in a Struts application we can have multiple actions where each action requiring these group of interceptors. So to refer to those interceptors from each of our action element is a difficult thing to do. So Struts came up with an idea of grouping these interceptors in a stack and then we can refer to that stack instead of referring to the individual interceptors from our action element. Now for creating the interceptor stack, interceptor hyphen stack is used. That we can do here in the interceptors element. Give it a name as my stack and then we need to use interceptor ref to refer to these interceptors. Okay, now my stack has these two interceptor elements and we can use this my stack using interceptor hyphen ref inside our action element. So now it's easy to refer to this stack from our different action elements instead of referring to individual interceptors from each of our action elements. Okay, now 
We can also specify a default interceptor to run when no interceptor is defined for an action. So suppose if we remove this and if an action doesn't have any interceptor defined here, in that case that default interceptor ref will be executed. Now that default interceptor ref is actually present here in the stress default. They have already declared it and in our case it is default stack. So default stack is default set of interceptors which are going to run when our action element doesn't have any interceptor. But if we supply any interceptor on our own in the action element like this then the default interceptor ref from the stress default package will be ignored and we again have to use or declare that default interceptor ref here in the action element using the interceptor ref. So using the interceptor ref again we need to declare this default stack here. Okay, now in this scenario we can use our, our stack as well as the stack provided by the stress default package. So I think I have covered the important elements of the stress 2 configuration and uh, they are each, each and every aspect of those elements. We will see some more elements uh, once we move along with some more videos. This is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.